Hi there, it's Rose. Welcome to my channel. Today is April 25th. I can't believe I'm saying that. It seems to me like this year is just flying by. But if you're new to my channel, every month on the 25th day of the month, I share Christmas tags that I make. So I make Christmas tags all year long. Um, just a great way to use my supplies especially all the great supplies that I get around Christmas time, all the pads and stamps and dyes, and I love making tags. So um, I decided about four years ago that I was gonna make Christmas tags and share them on the 25th day of every month. And that's what I've done. And so if you are new, I have playlists down below that'll share all my past year's Christmas tags. And, um, it's a great way to keep the Christmas spirit going all year long. And um, Christmas always seems to come up on us so quickly that um, it's nice to have some tags pre-made and ready to go. So let's get into it. I'll share the supplies that I used for my tags for this month, and then I'll share the tags that I created. So to cut my tags for this month, I used this die set from Pink and Main. It's called Tags and Toppers, and I love the scallop die, and I love the smaller one because it has a stitched border. So the scallop one measures about um, three and three quarters by two and three quarters, and then the smaller one measures about three and a half by two and a quarter. So um, I love the scallop and I love that they layer. Of course, you can use them both separately. It comes with this little tag topper and a little banner um, and then a couple of ring holes. But I just use these two dies to um, cut my tags and layer them up. And I, I really love this um, tag die set. So I use that one. Now for some stamping, I use this stamp set that I've had for a while. It's by Sugar P, and it's called Here Comes Santa. And um, look at the adorable Santa images and the cute sentiments are you're on the nice list. Forget the list, have a cookie. You've been very good. Here comes Santa. I hope Santa spoils you rotten. Ho, 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 and sending you Christmas cheer. And there's three different Santa images, which were perfect for what I wanted to use on my tags for this month. So I love this stamp set and it may be retired. Um, if it's still available, I'll see if I can link a site for it below. But um, by Sugar P and it's Here Comes Santa. Now for some paper, of course, I use some card stock from my stash. I use the 110 pound white for the base. Um, I always layer up my tags and I always include that on the back for some extra stability. But then for some color, um, I wanted to use some papers from Plaid Tidings. This paper stack um, is eight and a half by 11, a very unusual size paper stack. I picked this up from Hobby Lobby last year and it's just obviously all plaid designs. You can see from all around the edges, the beautiful plaid paper that's included. I love using this at Christmas time because plaids are beautiful all year long, but especially at Christmas, especially when you get into the beautiful um, green and reds and some buffalo check. Uh, they're just gorgeous uh, plaid papers. You get 15 designs, four of each. Of course, it's acid free, so it's 60 sheets in this pad and um, these are some of the cutoffs of what I selected to use and you can see how beautiful they are. Specifically I was going with um, uh, primarily a green theme. I brought in some green recollections cardstock to layer up and then I wanted to break that up with a few of the plaids um, that had some red and white in it and then I always cannot resist the buffalo check in the red and black. It's really one of my favorites. In fact, I decorate quite a lot with that design in my home decor at Christmas time because I just love the look of it. Um, it's just classic and I love it. So 
these are the three papers that I used for my tags for this month. So let's get into it and I'll show you the tags that I created. So I made three tags this month and here they are with these adorable Santa images. And um, you can see that I used that scallop die as the base and um, cut out the plaid paper for each of these for the base. And then I took some green recollections cardstock and cut that second tag, which has the beautiful pierced stitching all the way around it and colored up the Santas with Copics. Then I also added some of my Spectrum Noir glitter pen to his suit to just give it a little bit of glimmer. I added a few sequins on each. This one has the sentiment, forget the list, have a cookie, and Santa's munching on some cookies and milk. And then rather having a string, I just added a bow at the top on the back. I stamped Merry Christmas. That's from a uh, Ranger stamp set by Tim Holtz. And I love the size of that Merry Christmas stamp. And I also stamped a little holly sprig there. And I added the same bow on the back. So it's as pretty on the front as it is on the back. And then, of course, I can sign it here, do a little to and from when I'm getting ready to add it to a gift. So this is the type of tag that I like to stick into. Um, a little gift bag or um, as a little package topper. And that's my first one. And here's the second. I hope Santa spoils you rotten is a sentiment that I've just thought made me smile. I thought it was so adorable. And the Santa with the sack on his back and you can see the glimmer that I added from that Spectrum Noir glitter pen and Santa's suit. And um, again, some of those little sequins just for a little bit more shine. And there's the back. All the backs are the same with that Merry Christmas. And then here's a look at my final one. You're on the nice list. And it's Santa like kind of perusing that list and such cute images. I just absolutely adored them. And then you can see that the um, backs are all the same and they're layered up. So I always cut my paper at least twice, sometimes three times, depending on how much layering I want to include. But um, in this case, there was the 110 pound white, then the pattern plaid, and then that green paper from that second tag die. So those are my three tags for this month. I hope you enjoy taking a look. If you're new to my channel, I hope you'll consider hitting that subscribe button. Remember, I post Christmas tags on the 25th day of every month, and I'd love for you to check back and see what I make as the months go by and we come close to Christmas Day. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.